what we are trying to achieve now is to get the tracking page up and running. Um, let's um, go through it again. Basically, you, you pick the project you're going to work on. I'm going to work on App 2 for Client 2, and I start um, tracking. This will track the time. I'm not going to make you wait until these numbers change, because it can take a while, a minute, and you may fall asleep before that. And when, I've, when I finish, I click on Stop Tracking, and then I can pick a different project and track time again. So what we'll do in this uh, video is we'll 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 um, create this um, this user interface elements and we'll populate the drop down with the projects that we have. Let's start by looking at track.html, which is currently empty. There's only the action bar in the bottom, and we're going to be adding a round panel, same as we've done before. We'll add a round panel, which will have a header that's going to say track time and a, a, a control container. That's where you place all of your elements. And the elements that we have are a select, a drop down. We're, we're giving it a, a, an ID of project drop down. And you, you can give it a label like this. And also um, a button that's going to say begin tracking. Button goes here. We're actually not doing anything with, um, with the on click yet. We just want to show it. It's a button, same as we did before, uh, stretches or horizontally. Now um, we want to initiate this. Let's go back to index.html. Just like we're will, just like we're listening. Um, for when the ID is settings of, of the screen, we also want to um, do something when the when the current ID is is track, because that's the ID of the tracking page, track. And we're going to call a method called init track. We give it the element as a parameter. And now let's go to our main object uh, file, ztempo.js, and let's create that new method in a track. That's where we're going to initiate the track screen. And all we're going to do now is just creating a, um, yeah, here. Sorry about that. Copied the wrong code. Um, the right one goes here. We're going to populate that drop down with option um, HTML elements. So we, we want to select that drop down by ID. That's the ID we gave it. And now we're going to iterate through our existing projects. Right? And for each one of them, we're going to create a new option element and we're going to append that option element to our drop down. I'm creating a new option element. I'm giving it an attribute value. The value is going to be the ID of the current project. And the HTML that's going to be shown to the user is going to be the name of the project concatenated with the client name. Um, and that's going to be appended to the drop down. Now we need to al we also need to call this uh, refresh method because we're using uh, the BBUI library it's required otherwise it's not going to show uh, properly so that should do it let's try it out it's showing the, the projects that we have um, we can select one and we can click begin tracking nothing happens yet because we're not we haven't um, added any event for that any methods um, what if we create a new project? Um, let's well, some sort of hello world, something strange, and we go to track time, and now that weird project it shows here too. Um, so 
basically what we did in this video was creating a new um, round panel with a header with a drop down and a button that's all for the user to begin tracking their time inside of index we also um, just like we did with settings now we also listen for uh, expect for track to come and initiate the track page if that uh, if track is being loaded and in that initiation all we're doing is we're selecting the drop down element and we're adding um, an option for each one of the projects um, all of those options show the ID, uh, show the name of the project, the client name, and their value is the uh, their values are the IDs of the projects. All of them are being appended to a drop down, and then we refresh our drop down because that's needed for the BBUI, the JS library, to work.